was Maisie. I got into Vintage Vibes because I, I heard about them uh, doing a variety of things and one of them was the films, which I, I, I fancied going to, so I started going there and um, from there I met Cara and Cara introduced me to Angie, who's I've been seeing for quite some time now, enjoying her company, usually once a week, different days. I'm Angie and uh, I got involved with Vintage Vibes. I met Maisie about a year ago. Um, I'd heard about Vintage Vibes through a friend whose mum went along to some group uh, sessions and things and she highly recommended it so got involved and Cara is um, my coordinator who introduced Maisie and I. Well. I would say I'm quite a quiet, shy person. I'm okay when I, when I get into company and I, I meet them, get introduced to them. And, uh, I was a wee bit dubious when Carla suggested it, but I thought I had to do something. And I was introduced to Angie and I find I thoroughly enjoy her company. We have the same interests. We enjoy walking, we enjoy nature. We have a laugh and I'm very happy to be with her when I see her. Maisie and I, um, we've been really well matched. I think that's a key thing to say that Cara and the rest of the guys have done their work really well to match us because they must look at things like, you know, Maisie doesn't want to be sitting in the house having a cup of tea chat and she wants to be outdoors. I'm a very outdoors person. We both love animals. Um, we like to have a laugh. We just talk about we gel. everything. We just gel, we do. And it's, and I think, it's fair to see Maisie when we first met as well. Maisie was a bit concerned about the age difference. And I was trying to say it's not about that though, because in life I have friends of all different ages. You know, I have friends that are a lot younger than me, a lot older than me. To me, it doesn't, age is just a number, it really doesn't matter. Um, so it's not even noticeable the 10 year age gap uh, that we have, is it? The what? 10 year age gap. <laughs> You're kidding Let yourself now. You <laughs> I wish, I wish. But it doesn't make a difference because when you have common interests and you like doing the same things, what does it matter? That's it doesn't true. matter as long as you get on and you enjoy spending time with the person, yeah. which I do and I look forward to seeing Maisie every week. So yeah, long may it continue. Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> I think retiring, well not really planning to retire at a young age, but found myself in that, that situation. And I do, I am very active out all the time, but wanted to give something back. But I think I probably didn't appreciate how much I would get out of it. I think I get more from it than I actually thought when I, when I set out to do it. So um, I've got a new friend out of it. I've got found someone who wants to do all the same things as me, you know, and the same interests. So, yeah, it's great. And it also, I, I feel really proud of Maisie because I've seen her confidence grow as well. Um, whether I'm a part of that or not, it doesn't really matter. It's just lovely to see in the last year that she's doing things herself, going out herself. I'm, I'm, not as, I'm not as aware, I would say, that my confidence has grown, as, as Angie mm -hmm. says. I know I'm, I'm a, a bit better, but I don't, I've got a long way to go. I've got a long way to go. Um, but hopefully, with Angie's help and wherever else I get to go to, mm -hmm. it will help me and it will it'll bring me out more mm -hmm. all the time. I, I like meeting people, uh, as I say, um, I've never been a person, uh, I've been, always been a shy person, but. Um, I'm getting there very, very slowly. <laughs> so as you might hear from some of the background noise, we're at Edinburgh Zoo today, um, can hear a lot of the birds and stuff. So this is one of our favourite places and we have been here a few times already, sometimes with Vintage Vive, sometimes on our own. Um, so we take um, advantage of the, the uh, truck that takes you up to the top. Um, and then we we're kind of work our way down and see all the animals. So love all of the animals, but my favourite, my personal favourite is the red panda, which is normally hiding away at the top of a tree, but that's my, my favourite animal in the zoo. What about you, Mies? What's yours? I love the tigers. I mm -hmm. like the cats. Big cats. Um, the big cats. Uh, 
We haven't seen, we didn't see no, them. No, no, we need to come back and see we them. Come back. Yeah. And I love the meerkats, they're mm -hmm. so fun. Yeah. I, I love them, mm -hmm. cheeky and... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I like animals that are opposite of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Full of life and bunsy and yeah. funny. <laughs> uh, 